Jay, first competitive game of the season against Harrogate Town, a team that we've never faced before um, in a competitive game. So one to look forward to, isn't it? Yeah, it is, and it's the start of our competitive games. Uh, we've had uh, quite a few friendlies now, which have got us ready, and we've worked for the last four to five weeks to get in the condition that we are and ready for this game come Saturday. Um, like you said, they've they've now just come up into the football league for the first time, so they're going to be willing to go, even though it is a cup game. It's still going to be their their final. I think every every game they play this year is going to be their final. So we're the first ones to face them. Uh, so we're going to look we're going to look forward to it. It's going to be difficult, but we know that if we turn up and we we play the way that we want to play then we should hopefully we want to be in that half of the next round and their competitive season only finished a few weeks ago they won it they won at Wembley best way to, to win a final isn't it and well yeah of course yeah and the confidence is going to be high um, again they've got nothing to lose this year they can go out every week and just give it their all and, and work hard and they from what, what I've seen and what I've heard they deserve the, the promotion that they got so congratulations to them uh, but we have to concentrate on ourselves uh, we want to get the we want to get that winning feeling straight as soon as possible and hopefully that comes on Saturday the lads have been putting a lot of hard work in the last four or five weeks, so um, three or four pre-season friendlies we've played now. How are you feeling ahead of the season? Do you know what? I feel good. Um, with the lockdown and everything, I was quite busy and keeping myself active. Um, and then coming in and stepping up the last couple of weeks, as you say, with the games and the standard and the quality of games that we've had. Um, we obviously don't like losing games. We've lost we've lost a couple and we've two, maybe one. Um, we want to win, even though, even though they are pre-season games. But looking forward now, no one at the end of the season will look back at your pre-season start or look about when the competitive games start. Um, we want to try and kick on as quickly as we can and, and as I said before we want to even though it is a cup game we want to win it and we want to be in the half of the next round so once you want to have that winning feeling and that winning momentum going into the league game the following weekend The latest pre-season friendly that we did play was away at Burnley and you could tell just at half time when the lads were coming off how disappointed they were to be 2-0 down because the scoreline didn't really reflect the game No I don't think it did um, I felt that the uh, they caught us on a counter attack which we believe was offside but it was one of the things we got on with it and we didn't let it affect us we shown some really, really confident clips of, of playing with the ball. Uh, we, we've shown the stuff that we've been working on in, on the training field, uh, the way we want to play, the way we want to attack teams and things we, that we want to do. So it was a real positive game, I felt. Um, we were playing against a Premier League side uh, and it was good to test ourselves against stuff like that. The lads, uh, whatever age they are, they want to succeed and be high and play at the highest level. So it was a great test for us and, and, and a good chance to show what we were about. And we took a lot of positives from that game. But as I say, all them games are gone now. Uh, it's all about Saturday and progressing into the next round. Fingers crossed that we have that winning feeling come Saturday afternoon. Four or five weeks you've been at the football club now. How have you found it? Loved it. I'll be, on, I'll be honest with you. I've loved every minute of it. Um, fantastic to get to such a such a big club and to to be to be local to, to home. And but the lads have been fantastic as well. They've, they've welcomed me with open arms. They've been brilliant. Uh, the manager, the, the staff all around the place. It's, it's a great place to come in and work every day in. I'm a very lucky lad to, 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 to do what I'm doing. Um, but no, it's a, it's a right start. I'm looking forward and I'm ready to, to kick on and get busy now. Does it feel peculiar playing the Carabao Cup as the first game of the season? Yeah, listen, it's, it's strange. Um, it's something that we haven't done before. But as you know, with all what's happened in the last couple of months, things have changed and games are coming thick and fast and games need to be fitted in. So it's come first. Uh, we're going to treat it like any other game that we would. We want to go out and perform well and, and, and do succeed and, and uh, fingers crossed we, we come out like I said before as, a, as, as the winning team but we know it's going to be difficult and we've got to work hard for that. And finally just to mention for the supporters uh, this is the past 3,000 season ticket sales this week which is tremendous effort isn't it? Uh, yeah it's fantastic listen again considering everything that's been going on over the last five to six months uh, to reach that to reach that so early on and uh, just before the season to start and whenever it's safe to do so for them to come back it's a, a massive thank you from myself and the lads for the support and fingers crossed they can get back in the stadium as soon as possible.